Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions. Thank you again so much for our time together. It's a national holiday. Now, young people, can I make a suggestion to you today? Mom and dad don't have to work. That's a rare thing. Mom and dad work really hard taking care of you, providing for you, paying the bills, paying the tuitions. Mom and dad don't have to work today. What would happen if you just said, Mom and dad, we just want to stay home and hang out with you today. Oh, but my friends are calling. Do you want to have a strong family? Do you want to have a strong family? Then you need to put some time into mom and dad. Don't always expect it to be coming the other direction. So young people, my name's not Jesus, and I'm not commanding you to do something, but just a little pastoral suggestion. Take today and be with mom and dad. Right now, I want us to come back to the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10, beginning with verse 23. Paul said, everything is permissible, but not everything is beneficial. Everything is permissible, but not everything is constructive. Nobody should seek his own good, but the good of others. Now, you often hear me tell you that as you serve the Lord and mature in the Lord, the things that you look at that are such difficult struggles right now to overcome are like loose dirt. The getting drunk, the smoking, the sleeping around, those things are like loose dirt. It just, it gets swept out of your life. This is one of those hard ones to live, that in every decision that you make of your life, I'm not seeking my own good. I'm seeking the good of others. That everything in my life I'm living, I'm living to benefit others. I'm living to be a blessing to the lives of other people. I, I'm not hedonistic. I'm not seeking my own pleasure. I'm seeking to do things that are a benefit to others. And COP, when I asked how many of you had ever been to Aroma, almost every hand went up. Y you talk about almost making me lose control of myself. What a privilege to pastor such a great people. I challenge you, let this always be a part of our lives. Let it always be a part of our lives that we have a generous, compassionate spirit that, that lives for others as we live to serve others and as we, rather than seeking pleasure, we, we seek to serve, God's hand of blessing will be upon our lives.